Hi TikTok, and welcome back to another crazy history class. Couple things real quick. First of all, this is gonna be at least a two-parter because three minutes is not enough to cover all this information for you. Second of all, we're gonna discuss some adult topics and some things that might be possibly triggering for some folks. So if that's not your jam, you may wanna keep scrolling. So without further ado, we're gonna talk about the Kellogg's brothers. Now, I don't know about you, but I love me some cornflakes, and we would not have cornflakes today if it weren't for the Kellogg's brothers. Not just Will Kellogg, who actually invented the cereal, but his brother, Dr. John Harvey Kellogg. So we're going to talk about Dr. Kellogg first. In 1876, he was the lead doctor at a facility called Battle Creek Sanitarium, also known as the Sands. Now, it was not a sanitarium like you normally would think it would be. They didn't use, like, electroshock therapy and stuff like that. It was more like a health spa that people could go and help themselves get better. A lot of rich and famous people went there. However, they practiced some kind of weird stuff at the Sands, and they had some kind of odd beliefs, especially Dr. Kellogg. So Dr. Kellogg invented this health system that he called biologic living and in his health system he had some good things like get lots of sunshine get exercise get fresh air but he also believed some kind of weird stuff too so essentially it boiled down to you needed to eat a vegetarian grain-based diet don't put any spices in your food don't use any kind of condiments and obviously, if you can't have spices or condiments, you really shouldn't smoke or drink either. Now, Dr. Kellogg thought this was a bad thing because these sorts of things will get you super riled up and possibly make you want to have sex, which he thought was very, very bad. He believed that all illness could either boil down to problems with your stomach or problems in your pants. So problems with your stomach, he would solve by telling you you needed to have daily enemas. And if you could take those enemas made of yogurt, that was even better. So yeah, he told people to practice daily yogurt enemas. So the whole, you know, also don't have any sex. He swore that in his 40 years of marriage to his wife, he never once had sex. And he was very against masturbation too. So what would happen? These rich and famous people who really enjoyed the sands would ship their kids to Dr. Kellogg to see if he could help them stop masturbating. The problem is, Dr. Kellogg did some really horrible things to kids, including genital mutilation to try to get them to stop. Yeah, it wasn't the best hospital. Follow for part two. It gets better, I promise.